All right, I think we're going to start. We are live here in Bernie at the Dog and Pony Grill getting ready for the total solar eclipse. I'm Steve Spreester along with Jen Strusky. Yes, we're having a great time out here, and a lot of people are starting to show up too right now. Yes. It's just a great time out here in Bernie. They get about, what, three minutes, I think, of totality. So there's some clouds right now, yes. but we're hopeful. And the thing is, like, we've kind of been teased all night. It was like, or all day. First, it was overcast like this. Then it kind of broke. You yes. could see the sun, yes. light, light clouds. You even saw some blue sky mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. And then the clouds have just rolled in again. So I'm hoping we have time for these clouds to roll out again we so do. we can see some sun. But uh, we've also, I just want to show you the setup here a yes. little bit. We yes. are up on the deck. And Eddie, if you want to pan around to kind of give people a better idea of exactly what we're looking at right now. If you go out there, this is the people that are sitting outside here at the Dog and Pony Grill getting ready to take in the total solar eclipse. And then if you look just on the other side of the satellite truck, you can see what I've called Telescope City. Yes, yes, a lot of astronomers, uh, aspiring astronauts, students, uh, people who just love this stuff. They, the self-proclaimed geeks, right? <laughs> and they brought out all the really cool telescopes. We got to get a little peek in there, right, Steve? Yeah. It's it, really cool. They're all excited. Well, and it's, it's, it's everything from amateur astronomers mm -hmm. to professors to yes. experienced people that have come out here to take part in this whole thing. We even have a drone I, I saw flying that around. Right Oh, yes. Flying wow. around right now. Yes. Uh, people, And the good thing about the dog and pony grill is people have brought their dogs out here. <laughs> they have a dog park yes. out here, and people are out here with their animals. And not just from Bernie. We have run into people from San Antonio, yes. people from the smaller towns around yep. Bernie. Austin, San Marcos, yes. Because, I mean... What we're going to experience, whether it's cloudy or not, is something you want to experience together. Yes, yes. It's so exciting. I see lots of families. I see some little ones over there. they got a play area here. And like you said, the fur babies, they're all welcome here as well. I think everyone's just really excited. It's just building up, too, as we get closer and closer. And there are so many businesses that were, I mean, I would, I would say that some of the Bernie businesses are maybe a little disappointed with what they saw over the weekend. It wasn't the crowds yeah. that they were expecting, but the crowds have started rolling in here big time at the Dog and Pony Grill. And, you know, it's all about merchandising. Yeah. We've seen all kinds of merchandising. Oh, yes. By the yes. way, Hill cookies. Country Sweet Spot just gave us some of their sugar cookies here that have the Eclipse on it. The Dog and Pony Grill here has a... Um, Eclipse Burger, yep, a which I'd show you, but we ate it. It's got a, there's a little bit left there on the plate. And then I want to show you the, the uh, back of the T-shirt here for the Dog and Pony Grill, if I don't lose my Eclipse glasses there. I can help you. Yep. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, we met Ryan, the designer of this, and uh, they had a good time with that. He said he started, what, a year ago working on this design. So fitting with the burger and the beer. Just fits perfectly here at yeah. Dog and Pony Grill. And what I like is that there's been a lot of different people who have shown up here. Uh, and let's let's have one yes. of the owners of Joey. Dog and Pony Grill come in right now. Yes, Joey, oh, thanks for having us. How are you feeling? You got a crowd building up here. Yeah, the energy's been good. Uh, it's cool when you see the clouds break. I feel like more energy comes, you know? Yes. So yes. we're keeping our fingers crossed. Yes, and you're excited about today? Oh, for sure, totally. The, the uh, annular eclipse back in October was so much fun. So to do this again, such a cool opportunity. People bringing out their telescopes. You know, we have the market in the parking lot for a little bit of shopping and fun, yeah. How long have you guys been planning for this event? I think we probably had our first meeting with the chamber like 18 months ago probably, 20 months ago. Um, so, you know, just coordinating with all the vendors the last couple of weeks of like making sure we have enough food, making sure we have <laughs> enough drinks. You know, you can't run out of beer during a party, you know, so... <laughs> Uh, it's 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 been a lot of planning behind the scenes for got sure. Got to make sure you have enough beer for the <laughs> exactly. celebration. Yeah, for sure. Uh, is, um, the, is the theory behind this that this is something that people want to enjoy together? Uh, I think so. I mean, so many groups of people coming out. I mean, we have people from Houston, San Antonio, of mm -hmm, course. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I talked to somebody from Louisiana earlier, and it's like friends of people, and then they're making new friends today, also. Yes. You know. Yes. Yeah. And your menu included, I saw a charcoal mimosa. So y'all are having fun with the menu, too. Oh, yeah. We made, like, we used charcoal to make some, uh, like, black margaritas. Mm -hmm. uh, we partnered up with Extra Fine in San Antonio to do a, a charcoal brioche bun. So we have a sunny-side-up egg with, with a black bun. Uh, we did a donut in a donut hole. 
And then, you know, on the beer side of things, like we have Solar uh, Solar Myth from Real Ale. They made a beer, so we picked that up. Uh, space Dust, we have a beer called Bad Astronaut. So we just tried picking up as much space stuff as we could. <laughs> Talk about uh, the turnout so far. I know that there were some businesses over the weekend a little disappointed with what the turnout has been. It seems to be picking up here today. Yeah, definitely. I think it's it's one of those like catch-22 situations where if you believe the hype and you over-prepare and then it doesn't happen, you know, but also you can't under-prepare and then you get slammed and then people say, I told you to expect it, you know? Right, um, right. So I do think along Main Street and some of the businesses in Bernie, we thought the weekend would be a little bit busier, but today's really nice. Um, it's been good to see all the people come out. Uh, we decided to have our space for free as long as you eat and drink with us. Uh, so we actually opened at 8 a.m. and just promoted it as like a first come, first serve type thing. So, I mean, we didn't get a lot of traffic at 8 a.m., but I think by 9, 9.30, 10, mm -hmm. we, we definitely started to see more people. Do you still have spaces out here so people want to come out and park and, and join in the festivities? We definitely still have space out here. Parking is a little tight. Uh, I think we're about to have to go to, to paid parking instead of free parking uh, mm -hmm. just because of the, the different lines in the land, you know. But, uh, but, yeah, we still have plenty of space, lots of food, too. From a personal perspective, what are you expecting when the eclipse happens? I think I just want to see the darkness in the middle of the day and maybe like a 10 degree drop in temperature because yeah, it is exciting. It feels good, but it's still a little humid and running around. I'm sweating a little bit, you know? <laughs> yeah, you got a nice breeze out here. I will say that. Yeah, for sure. That light switch will just turn. Nature's light switch, right? right there you go. Right. Yeah. So exciting. It would be cool. I've heard that like crickets come out or maybe, you know, like nighttime bugs. They, they think it's nighttime, so you might hear some stuff that you don't normally hear during the day. That'll be cool. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd will be we awesome. see a tear come down from you? I mean, maybe, but I don't know. <laughs> I've heard some people, like, they get struck, you know. They don't know what to do. We'll see what happens, right? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much for having us. Hey, thank yeah, thank you out. for the hospitality. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it's been great. Dog and Pony Grill out here. We're going to be live here until 2 o'clock. We're going to take in totality, all that great stuff. And uh, I'm struck by... I'm seeing families or groups of people that all have matching Eclipse yes. t-shirts on. Did you see that earlier? Yeah, so many cool t-shirts. I mean, I know a lot of boutiques made some, and I think people just made them on their own. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's something that doesn't happen very often, so have a have a cool souvenir, you know? Yeah. Right. And let's Appreciate look at your yours. time. I know let's you got a lot your to shirt do. real quick, because yeah. they can get this one if they come out here. There's still some available to purchase, right? Yep. Yeah, for sure. We still have plenty of available. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Joey. Thank you all. all right, Thank man. You. Take care. If you look closely, you can see the path of totality that he actually put across the United States right down to Bernie, where we are right now. So these are one of the cool things. He's giving these away for yes. free. Yep. He's one of the merchants that's out there. He just wants people to know about his business. Yes. So he's giving these out for free. So, you know, just one of the cool things that we're seeing out here. There are a lot of shops just on the other side of the fence out there to give you an idea of what we're talking about out here at the Dog and Pony Grill. Yep, and that's Melon Wolf Prince. Yeah, I think he said it takes 55 minutes to make one of them, and people are just lining up to, to take those in. A nice little souvenir to remember this moment in history it's so exciting yeah and I, you know why I, I, he was talking about people from all over i ran into some kids from mark twain elementary they don't have school today nice. at least i don't think they have school today and so they are out here to celebrate the total solar eclipse and they walk by all the telescopes that were over there in telescope city i'm calling it and they were mesmerized mm -hmm. just by the equipment that's yes. out there it, it's it's a lot to take in too and you, you haven't seen something like that up close it's really awesome. And we have Brian Tobias joining us, an astronomer, manager of the observatory at UTSA. And one of your telescopes is out there, yeah, too, right? A couple of them, right? yeah. How excited are you for today? Uh, ask me in a couple hours. <laughs> uh, it's, you know, off and on. We're just watching the clouds. So it's still going to get dark. Mm -hmm. uh, how much quality of the eclipse we're going to see, that remains to be seen. Is this just like we're taking it minute by minute and just you, you got to just basically, wait and see? Basically, okay. yeah. Uh, I'm following the satellite charts, and it's not looking good. Uh, a lot of stuff coming in from the Gulf. Okay. Uh, you know, that's that, the, that's the truth of it. So, well, you, you have you have uh, an unusual telescope out there. I mean, you have the normal telescopes that people so you can see the sun and things like that, but you also have a different type of telescope out there. Talk yes. about that. Well, we have a, a little bit of a higher end telescope, uh, it's a hydrogen alpha, uh, and we, we see the prominences, uh, the storms that take place on the sun, you know, kind of like the sun's burping out at us, and we can see that where these traditional white light filters, you can't see. 
There are many different ways you can look at the layers of the sun. And it's, uh, with that, you get a little bit more uh, price how do you say price point on, on a scope like that? <laughs> but uh, you know, it, it's uh, if you're interested in the sun and how stars work, this is a great tool. As somebody who does this day in and day out, how big an event is this for you? And how happy are you to be at a place like the Dog and Pony Grill, where there are tons of people out here that want to experience the same thing? Well, it, it's uh, it's, it kind of need to go back a little bit. Uh, I I kind of went through the, the rigmaroles to understand how it works. Back in 2017, I went to Casper, Wyoming, and figured out the mechanics, the timing, and all that. Uh, this time around, I'm really a little more subdued because I knew about this event for a long time, and it's hard to believe it's here, you know. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, I'm just a little, little more laid back. It's going to happen one way or another, you know. <laughs> uh, what can we expect even with the cloud cover? It's going to get dark, uh, uh, naturally. Uh, we're going to have a drop in temperature. If we do have any degree of clearing, I suggest not just look at the sun, but look at the horizon all the way around. It's going to look like the sun setting. But it uh, depends on the clouds. That's, yeah. that's going to be a big factor. Will that happen even with the cloud cover? Will the clouds change color? Uh, I wouldn't say color, just the uh, luminosity, how... Uh, the, the dimness. It's gonna it's gonna be nighttime for a little while. Yeah, uh, three four minutes. Has this event sparked interest at UTSA in astronomy? Has it sparked interest in UTSA? It sparked interest in astronomy from our city. It it, it ebbs and flows. Um, yeah, and it, it takes an event like this to really get everybody out interested and enthused. And then it's going to wane again. You know, it's 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 something for, for me and my guys. We're doing this every day, every week. You know, all the time. So this is just another event. Man, it's kind of it's kind of. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm going to call you on that. This is this is a total solar eclipse. This isn't an everyday deal. Yeah, no. It's it, it, and it's it's very rare. Uh, we're not going to see one here for a long in our lifetime here. But I understand why people uh, hunt these things. Mm -hmm. There are travel agencies that cater to people that want to see a solar eclipse. Yes. Yep. So I understand. It, it's almost religious. Everybody takes uh, a little something from it. Uh, and, you know, it, it's, it's good to see people amazed and interested in it. So I, I think technically we're getting close to 1215. So yep. that's when... The eclipse technically starts, right. correct? The moon will start to uh, cover the sun. It's going to take a little time. Close to 1.30, we're going to get a full totality, and that's where the, sh that's where, that's where the true magic happens. So first contact is first. Then first. second contact second is full to third, to totality. Okay. Will we, is it going to be like a light goes out? It's not exactly like a, like a light goes out, but pretty quick, uh, 10 seconds or so. Then it's just gonna get dark, wow. and then it, well, just as soon as it went away, it's gonna come right back. And that hasn't happened in this area, in the San Antonio area, well, in our lifetime, in right? In our lifetime. Wow. Yeah. So it's a big deal. It is a big deal. It really is, and that's that's what's ne what's neat about it. So I also I also like that that Brian keeps me honest because earlier I called it a partial solar eclipse last year. He goes, no, it's an annular eclipse. So you know. He's keeping we're us learning, honest. We're learning. We're, we're not learning. The we're here. learning from a professor here <laughs> to teach us everything that we need to know about exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. And, and the one thing with the this eclipse for everybody who's uh, first timers, don't take a photo. Just absorb it. Uh, take it in with your eyes, the senses. Everybody else is going to have a million and one photos, just like yours. So. Uh, you're going to be fiddling with your, your camera. You're going to be worried about settings. you got gotten it right. And before you know it, the eclipse is over. And speaking of, i got a note here. Is, is it beginning? Yeah, partial eclipse is yep. beginning. Partial eclipse okay. is beginning. That is a note from our handy-dandy producer, <laughs> Diana Winters, over there, <laughs> telling us exactly what's happening. So I'm glad, I'm glad we have her with us, and I'm glad her handwriting is very neat. So thank you for that. Uh, I, give, I give her an S in penmanship. <laughs> 
So <laughs> first contact right now first is happening. Is okay. Happening. Okay. Yes. All right, Brian. We'll let you go. Yeah, We're going to no call problem. you back up here well, off and on. Come on back down. Yeah. Okay. Right. okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Brian. So I, much to take in. Wow. I wonder if we can find somebody that made their own uh, shirts. Like somebody that had, I saw a group of people that had their own pink shirts that yes, were wandering around. Uh, the thing I love is there's also a, a guy that we ran into who brought his dog out yes. here who saw us on KSAT social media mm-hmm. and is now, I think he's sitting out there in the audience somewhere yes. watching us on the KSAT app. He is. If you can hear us, <laughs> come to us right yeah, now. If you can hear us, come up here because we want to talk <laughs> to you. Get your name. Although I think he's about to be flying a drone. Oh, is he? Okay. So he's the one with the drone and he's he the brought one, his dog He's the too. one with the drone yes. and the dog. So he's kind of got his hands full yeah, right okay. now. Maybe we'll catch up with him in a bit. But that's great that people are tuning in. This is exciting for everybody. If you didn't know where to go, you know, some people didn't know where to go. Okay, my kids, they're skipping school today. I'm just going to be honest. And they're having a good time. But I think a lot of people are just trying to take it in together as a family. Yeah, and, and I would hope even if the kids are in school, they're let out yes, to experience this entire they thing. Are. Because, I mean, just we got here early because we were worried about the traffic. Yes. And I know traffic on I-10 is still a little bit crazy. Uh, I left the house about 8 o'clock, got here about 9 o'clock. So it yes. took me an hour. I think it's getting uh, busier and busier out mm-hmm. there. And it's funny, when the sun came out here for a brief moment, mm-hmm traffic picked up yes and people started pouring in here yes. because you could tell they're like okay we got a chance Let's to stop. see something yes i wonder how many people are just kind of on the go and then maybe they'll just pull off you know when yeah trying to chase it if you will to find that we still have some cloud cover that's why i find myself turning around going is this yeah. cloud cover burning off and it, it may be my imagination but i think it is a little bit i think so I'm with you. I know Brian's a little, you know, he's being real with us over there, but yeah. but I think we might we might get lucky. I'm looking over here, so yeah, my son, he's nine years old. He's like, Mom, I can't believe I'm gonna get to experience this in my lifetime, which I thought was adorable, but I like that perspective. It's still an experience and it's still really neat that we are in this zone right now. It's not gonna happen again. Even if it's under clouds, right? it's not gonna happen again so, in our lifetime. Right. It's not gonna happen again in our children's lifetime. Right? So easy? this is something that you want to experience and you want to experience together. And that's why I'm, I mean, the, the crowds are still coming in here at the yes. Dog and Pony Grill. We're in Bernie, in case you wonder exactly where we are, right off Main Street mm-hmm. in Bernie, not far from I-10. Yes, a, a big amount, of, a large amount of people, I think, are showing up now. And when we first got here, I mean, it wasn't this busy at all, but you have the vendors out there. Um, I love the little themes that they have going with the menu. And uh, like you said, see, they're giving those away to the little pinhole um, fun little memento here. We'll show that yeah. one more time in case you missed it. But everybody is excited. Like you said, even if there's cloud cover, it's happening, right? That's one thing that's for sure. It is definitely happening. And I want to go through exactly what we can expect. So at 1214... That is when the partial eclipse begins. Yes. So we're in partial eclipse. Okay. Around 110, the clouds begin to change color. Birds will begin to flock, thinking it's close to nighttime. Crickets will start Ooh. to make noise. Yes. Now, I don't know if the cloud cover is going to change all that or not. Think that's a good question. Yeah, about 1.30 p.m., a few minutes before totality, shadows will become much sharper and more detailed. You may even notice... The individual shadow of each hair on your arms. Whoa. This happens as the sun becomes a very thin crescent. And in shadow bands might appear creating ripples of dark and light on the ground or on the side of a white building. This is caused by atmospheric turbulence and refraction of the thin solar crescent. And that only happens with the total eclipse. So that's what's cool about this one in particular. Yeah, 131, about 30 seconds before totality. That's where you see the Bailey's beads. Okay, so those little beads of sunlight. I'm sure you've heard this. Everybody's been kind of listening and tuning in on social media even. So you get those beads of sunlight on the edge of the moon's shadow and that uneven landscape. And that's where you get that nice pop. It looks like beads. And then we've got that diamond ring effect, which I'm sure you've been looking at all this. I've been 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 trying to do a little bit of... uh, a little bit of background yes. on this whole thing on exactly what's going to happen and when it's going to happen. Right, so right. I cannot wait. Uh, and then totality, we should be in for about three minutes here. It's going to get quiet. And that's where I think we should get quiet, too. I mean, when everything <laughs> yes. happens, we should just stop talking. And then the corona will emerge. It's a star of the show. 
During a total solar eclipse, the moon blocks the sun's photosphere, briefly revealing the sun's outer atmosphere, the corona or crown. So wow. that's yes, when the I cool things. I this, the corona, the corona. So, so look, see, look, Steve, I see some break up there. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> yes. I, I can see some blue sky a little bit where we are right yes. now. And um, I'm going to actually just grab some kids. Sure. I'll okay. be right back. All right. Steve's going to go grab kids while we continue to hang out here at the dog and pony grill. Everybody's gathering too by the telescopes over there. What's really cool is they're letting, if you walk up, they're letting you look in there. I know we've got the cloud cover right now, but we were able to look in there earlier and the sun looked really awesome to be able to look through that and see what they see. You're talking about $15,000 telescope over there. Did we get somebody to come over? Okay. I've got a group, I've got here a group to go. come over. Oh, oh, look at, look at the dog. Did you get Eddie. the dog here? This is Rookie. Rookie's ready. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Rookie's ready. <laughs> by the way, we've only we've been here since 9 o'clock, and this is by far the top dog at the Dog and Pony <laughs> Grill. i got to tell you that right so now. Cute. The top dog right there. Love Come it. In, guys. Love Come it. On Come on in. in, guys. All right. Hi. What's I'm your I'm going to have you introduce yourself. Helena. Mm -hmm. Hi. What's your name? Alex. Hi, I'm Mariana. Okay, where are you guys from? We're from San Antonio, yes. Okay, <laughs> what brought you out here today? Well, this is the path of totality, or near the path of totality. So we wanted to come here, spend time with family, eat some good food. <laughs> so I, we picked this place. Are you excited? Tell me how excited you are. Um, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I can see a little bit of the solar eclipse. Yeah. And, and I know we've got some cloud cover, mm -hmm. but are you guys hopeful? I'm trying to send the yeah, good vibes here. We're hoping for oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I mean, well, I mean, seven years ago we had it, but, I mean, who knows how long we're going to be able to see it now. Yeah. So, yeah, we're excited. Mm -hmm. what, do you think, what do you think your emotions are going to be when, even if the lights go off, I mean, if the whole thing happens, what do you think your emotions are going to be when totality happens? Oh my gosh, it's going to be, I haven't, I honestly have not, this is my first eclipse, so it's going to be like very, just I guess life changing, I would say, <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be. I mean, that's what people yeah. say, I've, I've never experienced one yeah, either, and they say they, they found themselves getting emotional yeah. over the whole thing. Yeah, I, I, I mean, just from 2017 being in total darkness, it's, it's kind of, it has like a weird Ari feeling to it, you know what I mean? And it kind of puts life into perspective, you know, right. for, for most people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because most people rely on the sun for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But when the sun goes out, it's like, oh, man. You start it, the crickets yeah. and the animals. And That's what yeah. I'm looking forward to, yeah. right? Are you going to listen for the bugs and yeah. see what, if they start acting different? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you guys yeah. get to experience this together. Yeah, the, the family. Yeah. 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 yeah, this is my niece. Yeah. So my wife's down there. Excited. Brother-in-law, Kunyao. Yeah. They're all down there and stuff. <laughs> So they're down there, and you guys are the one who's to get on camera. So you I, know, this is crazy. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I, I had actually been preparing this for a while. I requested off from work for a while. In, in January, I was like, "That's it. I'm taking April eighth off. I'm not coming in." So, but hey, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm blessed to be here with family and stuff, and I'm excited. Yeah, my got my really beautiful excited. daughter ready to go. Yeah, we're ready. So, I, even got the, I even got the Eclipse app. Yeah. Oh. It tells us when it's actually going to pop off and stuff, so in totality. Okay, yeah. are we so, getting close? You're following that oh, app right now, oh, huh? <laughs> and it's actually I feel like one hour, oh. nine minutes. Okay. Yeah. Got to gotta love those apps. I know it started, the eclipse yeah. has started, started, but that's when totality is going to hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. this is when it's it kicks dark. off. So that's going to be pretty interesting. How was getting here? Was it, was it a hassle to get here? It wasn't that bad. Yeah, I mean, it was not that bad. Me and my family woke up pretty early in the morning, expecting like traffic, yeah. mm -hmm. and it it wasn't that bad. We were in traffic like 10, 15 minutes, and we were able to get here really easily. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know they anticipated lots of traffic, but yeah. it's just been kind of hit or miss. I guess there's pockets of it, right? Yeah. There's pockets yeah. Of it. And for the most part, though, everybody's real cordial. Everybody's real nice. I mean. I mean, we're not seeing a lot of people cutting people off and stuff like that, but for the most part, from San Antonio, from the northeast side, all the way over here to Bernie, people were really nice. People were letting people in, and nobody was being rude or anything like that, cutting people off or in a hurry just to get out of here. Well, it seems to me, and I've said this to Jen, this is an event 
that we should experience together, that you want to experience with other people. Yes, yes I mean, we're not going to have this for like another 20 years, 22 years, so I mean, might as well take it in while we yeah. can. Yeah, and it's going to be like 600 years before it hits Texas yeah. again, yeah. or at least this yeah. part of Texas, so just think about that. Isn't that, you need goosebumps, Steve, yeah. <laughs> I'm wow. sorry. It puts it in perspective. I, th I thought it was a cool yeah. breeze. I thought it was the cool breeze lead. coming through, oh, maybe that was it. It was a paid actor, it was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh there's yeah. the breeze. Yes. Thank you guys, thank I'll let you, you get back and get back to your thank app. And thank you guys so much. Thank you. Bye. Enjoy, okay? Thanks. Have fun. And we've got the matching shirts right behind you. Oh, all right. Here. This is okay. this is the group I was looking for right here. I love the fact that you have your own <laughs> shirts for this event. Yes, Talk about sir. it. Yeah, uh, this was actually the owner of Aliens Boutique Idea. She picked these out online. We went and found the shirts, and then we pressed them all just for our staff. And lots of people keep asking us to buy these shirts off of us because we don't have them available. <laughs> I know. I'm like, no, sorry, this one's fine. Now, now you're like, oh, we should have made these shirts yeah. available, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, a lot of our shirts are actually almost sold out. So Yeah, Should've let's look at this one here. Give me, okay. give me your name. Lacey. I'm Lacey. That's Lacey, cute. What, what, what's the boutique that you work at? I work at Aliens Boutique next which is door. Right, which is right next door to where yep. we're talking about. And these are the shirts that you guys had made. Yep. Eclipse Watching Squad. I love it. And I love your earrings, too. <laughs> Thank you. I actually got them from a vendor that's set up out there. Oh. Yeah, she does a great job. They're cute. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the same vendor who asked me if I wanted earrings. And I said, nah, I think they wouldn't get she didn't have any that went with my outfit, so that was kind of the that was kind of the problem. Yeah, she's awesome. Uh, talk about this event and why what are you looking forward to? Uh, totality for sure. But um, we planned it because astronomy has always been one of my big passions. So I just wanted to put together something where everybody can come and experience it together because it's going to be awesome. So. It's, it, and I, I told Jen, I said, I think this is one of those events you need to experience together. Oh, yeah, for sure. The more the merrier. So you guys are neighbors here, but it seems like a very close-knit yeah. community. For sure, yeah. They're great at Dog and Pony. So it's kind of a little combined event. Is this your first eclipse of you? My first totality eclipse, yeah. yep. It's my first one. Yeah, so excited. What do you uh, what do you think your emotions are going to be when it happens? Have you even thought about that? No, honestly, I don't <laughs> even know. There's just been so much planning that we'll see. <laughs> so you've been planning. You didn't even think about what the event It's like, let's, let's just get to the event, and we'll figure out the rest of it from there? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Some people get emotional. Yeah, probably. I mean, it's going to be crazy, so... I, I just, I just, I think about the fact that this is not going to happen again in our lifetime, and yeah. what are the emotions that people are going to feel when it happens? Yeah, for sure. I feel like a lot of people are going to get teary-eyed. Everybody's going to shout. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. Everything Definitely. I'm watching, it's like it's just that experience, it's that moment, right? And it looks like the sun is coming through here yeah, too, it's right now. Through. Yes. I have high hopes. I'm hoping that the clouds will clear up a bit. We'll see. Yeah. All right. We're Me watching. too. But I I, I'm going to enjoy it no matter what. For sure. It's going to get dark regardless. So. Yeah. Love the shirts. Yes. Thank, Thank, you, thank you, you for joining us. Appreciate it so much. Yeah. I would, I, you know, if do you wish you'd print it out more? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said it earlier. I was like, oh, man. We have one that's like Starry Night themed. Ooh. Immediately sold out. I was like, oh, we should have got more. Yeah. <laughs> Live and learn, right? Yes. Sure. So 600 years from now, we'll know. <laughs> Print out more shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. And, and I, I love that Eddie was getting some shots around, and there are actually people who are right now looking up at the sky, trying to take yeah. in exactly what they can see. Yes, I know. We're getting our notes here on the side. We're seeing the sun peek out, and then we've got our glasses ready to. And now it's gone. I got the note. Now the sun is gone. Yes. Now it is gone. But we are going to keep watching. Like you said, it's going to get dark either way. So. We'll still be able to experience that nature's light switch, if you will. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my mom just called me. Oh yeah, did, yeah. To tell you happy birthday. Probably to <laughs> probably to tell me happy birthday. Yes, yeah, happy I think birthday that was probably it. I think Steve. that was probably it. Yeah. But I could I I couldn't take it. I was busy. Sorry, mom. I'll call you back. <laughs> we got more people here. They came in from Georgia. Just oh, oh, come here. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. All right, we have a guest that's with us. Nope, down, down here. here. <laughs> Yeah, that's all right. You're ready to go, man. This is a guest who's with us all the way from Georgia. Yes, sir. We're in Georgia. We're from Lawrence County. 
what's the nearest city in Lawrence County? So we live in Dublin. Okay. Close. To, how far from Atlanta? About two hours. Two hours. Okay. okay, we got family right here. Give okay. me your name. My name is Grain Mullis. So, Grain, talk about why you wanted to be here for this. So, it's, we went to one a few years ago. That was down in Newbury, I think. And so we really want to be here because it's just a thing that you can only see a few times in your lifetime. It's a really enjoyable experience that we can get. So you've seen a total solar eclipse before? We have. Wow. Yeah. Are you guys, are, do you chase them? Do you, is this a thing now? Is this what y'all do as a family? I mean, we love doing stuff like this, you know, going around, seeing what the world has to offer. What an experience. So how excited are you today for this? I'm very excited. I can't remember much from our last solar eclipse because I was really young. So I'm excited this time. Not old like you are now. <laughs> I'm like so young. Look at you, you young. How old are you? I'm 13. Yeah. Aww. Okay. How old were you when you saw the first one? Probably around, around seven years old. Yeah. Aww. All right. Now this is how you know this guy's a professional. He's not wearing any yeah. of these like temporary no. glasses no. that Jen and I, I have. I he has those. permanent. Like these are serious eclipse those glasses cool. that he has working right now. I'm impressed. So. What do you expect to experience? Like, what's, what do you think is going to go through your mind when totality hits here in Bernie? So I know that it's going to get pretty dark pretty quickly. I think that's going to be a very, you know, spectacular sight for it just to kind of, like, go kind of black. So I've heard that will be, like, around, like, dawnish, and just, like, really quickly. Disappointed at all with the clouds? I am worried that that might block out some of the solar eclipse. Yeah, but it's going to get dark. There's no doubt. Yeah. Talk about um, when did you guys arrive here? Did you drive here or fly here, and where did you stay? So we flew here. We stayed at San Antonio and, like, explored the river walk, <laughs> ate a lot of the good food. So we flew in on Thursday. So since it's Monday, we missed school, so that was a plus. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh, well, you have a good yeah, excuse, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. And now you have proof that you were actually, you know, he wasn't skipping out and going somewhere other than the eclipse, so very important. You can do a report, right? Do a journal on it. They'll be okay. Yeah. Extra credit, right? Extra credit. <laughs> do you think you'll get emotional at all? I don't think so. No? I mean, not not really. No? All right, so you're 13. You will have experienced already two That's total cool. solar eclipses in your lifetime. I mean, do you? Is it dawning on you? Dawning. See, I did that. Little, is it dawning on you how unique this experience is? It is very unique. I know there's not a lot of people who get to experience this, but I am very, very lucky because in 20 years, or right around where I live, there's going to be another one. Oh, okay. So that's going to be very, very exciting because it'll be next to my hometown. Are you going to get like a T-shirt or something to like mark off all the different times you've got a total solar eclipse? <laughs> Maybe. Like, good, good I, idea, I went to a right? solar eclipse and all I got was this T-shirt. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I see the wheels turning. All right, that's a good idea for you, right? I think yeah. you got it. I think yes. you need to cash in on this. Like you could be, you know, like the eclipse kid. I guess. I mean, get, get a different T-shirt, get a different hat. The eclipse kid. I like it. Guinness World Record most eclipses seen lifetime. You got a shot, man. Just, just let us know. Yes, Let us know how things are going and all that stuff. And what, who did you come here with, your whole family? Or? I came with my family. I've got my two sisters, Eleanor and Lorelai. Uh -huh. I've got my brother, Levi Mollis. We're all Molluses here, Mollis family. Oh, my <laughs> father came and my mother came. So we're all big family, family of six. We all came here. It's a big family trip. We're having a great time. And you enjoyed San Antonio before you got out here, so that's yes, good. Yeah. it was very nice. Yeah. Is that one of your sisters right there? She's right there videoing. Is okay. Mom? Is that that's mom over there? <laughs> and that's okay. my brother over there in Let's the orange sure. hat. Okay, hold on. We got to get, okay, which sister's that? That's Eleanor. She's my older sister. Hi, Eleanor. <laughs> See, I like it. They thought they weren't going to get on camera, but we're putting them on camera. Hi, yeah, on the camera. Yeah. All right. Then we got to get mom over here. Okay, that's mom. Hey, welcome in. All right, good. Mom, come on in, mom. All right, talk about this trip and why you guys felt you had to do it. Well, we on a whim went to the eclipse in 2017 in Newberry, South Carolina, and we just loved it so much. It was such an experience, and really we hadn't expected the kind of experience that it was. And so we started planning right then to come to the 2024 eclipse. Um, our oldest, were like, he'll be a senior in high school. That's forever away. But here we are. He's a senior, and um, 
we just started looking, where's the best place to see it? And um, Texas was supposed to, you know, in theory, have the best weather. And In theory. <laughs> we had spring break last week, so we just booked a trip to San Antonio with the kids, and they're out of school today. <laughs> but um, and we're heading back tonight. Um, we fly back tonight so that they can be back at school and work tomorrow. Yeah. Talk about the experience so far, and why, why did you pick this particular place to come? Well, like I said, we were in San Antonio, so we started looking at where the line was going to go, and it was supposed to go through Kerrville, I guess is how y'all say yeah. that, <laughs> and um, that seemed a little far from the airport because we knew traffic would be bad, and we didn't want to risk losing, like missing our flight, so we started kind of coming back towards San Antonio, and this we found this place, and we found um, this facility online, and I booked a, a parking space, and here we are. This nice. is a great, you picked a, a great place. It was just luck but yeah. yes it is a great place we're so excited to be here and and experience this with the town of bernie it's awesome do you do you did you know how to say the name of this town before you came here <laughs> we kept calling it burn 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 <laughs> but but i watched a little eclipse video from some news station i don't even remember which probably case at 12 <laughs> and they said bernie i was like oh it's bernie so we've yeah. been we've been correct since we came to texas okay but that's probably been a two-week old thing so <laughs> do you remember in 2017 what your emotions were when you saw the total solar eclipse and do you expect them to be the same today well i mean i do have a little bit better understanding of what will happen you know this time around but um it was it was just all inspiring and something that you really can't explain until you've done it um i, I vividly remember all the lights coming on and all the cars because it was super duper hot in august that day and so everybody was sitting in their cars with the air conditioners on and then they got out to see the eclipse and everybody's lights came on i remember that and um, the cricket started chirping and it got the temperature we had a thermometer which we brought again today <laughs> we watched the temperature drop and um it was just amazing for it to go dark in the middle of the day right. it, it's, it's something you just can't explain you have to experience it yeah did you get emotional at all? Do you expect to get emotional today? I don't recall getting emotional. I'm a mom of four, and at the time I had some pretty young kids, and they were not the happiest at that point after sitting out in the heat. So mostly I remember being very thankful that it cooled off, and, and they were all very, we were passing around the binoculars, and um, I just remember everybody trying to really experience the moment. So I don't remember really getting emotional, not that I'm a truly emotional person about stuff like that anyway, but it was very um, just all inspiring is really the only word I can use for it for yeah. it do you expect to make I mean with your kids older this time yeah. around it's gonna be a different experience for you that's right and I mean I'll be very curious this is a totally different part of the country when we watched in South Carolina it was very close to home well we're in a totally different part of the country will the sounds be the same will it you know will the temperature do the same thing I, I don't know it will be interesting to, to see how it plays out today and I look forward to them being able to you know experience it without me being like don't take your glasses off you know yeah. <laughs> don't right. look at yeah. it without your glasses yeah. and that kind of thing yeah. so well i appreciate you guys both being here and talking to us and sharing your journey from georgia yes. to south texas so yes. thank you so much it's a pleasure to meet you enjoy your time yeah All yeah right. thank, thank you man you. think about it I, I said he needs to get a hat that says eclipse kid He does have the 4-H rep. That's true. There That's true. Go. Thank All you right. so much. Thank yes. you. And go enjoy yourself. All right. We are going to take a little break. We might relocate, get closer over there, and um, we'll go see who's over there. Yeah, we're going to take a break, and we're going to go over by Telescope yes. City and yeah. see what the astronomers <laughs> are saying. So we're, we'll be right back.
All right, welcome back. We are here in Bernie live at the Pony, or the Dog and Pony Grill. Dog and Pony Grill. Put the pony before the dog. <laughs> and and we are here with our friend Isaac, right? Your name's Isaac? Yes. How old are you, Isaac? I'm 11. You're 11. So this is your first eclipse? Yes, it is. Are you excited? Very. Tell me why. Because uh, I've been waiting for a long time for this, and I've like, never experienced it, and I just wanted to experience it for like one time, because... It may not appear like um, if, like centuries. Or, yeah. You know, they, they say the crickets might be chirping and, and uh, the birds might act silly. Are oh you yes. excited about that too? Oh yes. Yes. Uh, they like they act like they act confused, like all the animals, because they don't even know what's happening. Do you think it's going to be emotional for you? Uh, I don't, I don't know. So, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be emotional or not. Have you been doing a lot of studying about what's going to happen? Uh, not, not really though. But I'm just excited for what's like, going to happen. And I like, I'm like mostly excited for like when it turns dark because I've never like seen it like turn dark in the day. Yeah. So that's the most exciting part to you that we'll have that light switch kind of turn off for us, right? Yes. That's pretty cool. And then um, how's school have been? How have friends been talking about it? All, everybody getting all excited, too, for oh, today? Yes, yes everyone is. Yeah. So talk about being here with a bunch of other people. Does that make it even cooler? Yes, it makes it a whole lot cooler. Yeah. Expect a lot of oohs and ahs once that happens? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Who'd you come here with today? Um, my, my dad, my brothers, and... Uh, and... Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but my... Some friends? Yeah, some friends. So you yes. got the whole family here together to experience this, right? Oh, yes. That's so fun. And that got, was some... Go ahead, he's got the eclipse glasses ready to go, right? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank Appreciate you, it. Isaac. Nice talking to you. Go enjoy. enjoy Pick out your spot, okay? okay? High five. Thanks for chatting with us. Here, I'll let you go that way. All right, thank I want to ask Isaac. Harlan to come over here now yes. and his daughter. I know. I'm, yeah, we're like, oh, come like, on, what? I'll see you. Like putting, putting we told you. Okay. Yeah. It's good. We're good. All right, yeah, you have to come over here. Yeah, I'm not I'm not giving you a choice. You have to come over. So we talked to your dad on social media earlier, and he talked about how this whole thing was your idea. Is that true? <laughs> like getting into astronomy, it was all your idea? Is that true? Um, yeah, a little bit. I was really into it in second grade and it just I just never left it. Are you still into it? Yeah. Give me your name by the way. Avalon. How old, <laughs> how old are you? <laughs> 13. 13. All right so you know second grade was a whole long time ago so you still like it. What are you expecting today? Um, I'm not sure really. But like it's kind of sucks because of the class for this or yeah. Yeah. Well, I've seen your dad has some really cool pictures, though, yeah. that he's taken, right? So this is all, this is something you guys do together. I think that's really awesome. Yes, yeah. yeah. Generally, when, when we take the telescope out, we're all, we just look through the telescope as a family. Yeah. Talk about how this started. Uh, well, uh, you know, like she said, in second grade, you know, we were looking uh, through binoculars at planets, and um, we're, we said, well, you can see the rings of Saturn if we get a big telescope. And so we got the biggest telescope we could afford. And uh, Avalon got pretty emotional when we saw Jupiter Aww. and the moons. And, and we looked at Saturn's rings and we looked at the sun and the moon. We have really awesome pictures of the moon and, and all the planets. We saw the conjunction of, of Jupiter and Saturn a few years back. That wow. was really remarkable. Yeah. How much of a bonding thing has this been for you and your daughter? Oh, amazing. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just something we do as a, you know, it's like a you know, daughter and son, father and, fa father and daughter and father and son. And yeah. uh, it's just something we do together, you know. It's, it's yeah. fun. Yeah. How yeah. about for you? Does this, has this brought you closer to your dad through this whole thing, do you think? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Tra traveling and all. Yeah, yeah. Well, the traveling, the setup, the and then and then you get the cool part of enjoying it. Yeah, true enough. Because true enough. y'all are from Austin, right? Yeah, we we came here from Austin. Yeah. yeah. 
Yes. So space obviously intrigues you. He said you got emotional just by seeing the rings, right? Yeah. Is it the unknown? Is that what gets you? Like what's out there? Yeah, it was just <coughs> really surprising, like being able to see it. The yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully, I don't know. We're hopeful that these clouds will break up, right? It's still exciting either way, right? Yeah. yeah. But you, you guys oh, have yeah. never experienced an eclipse before. Not a total eclipse like this. No. 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 What do you think your emotions are going to be as this happens? Um, pretty emotional, <laughs> yeah, because, like, it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing, and yeah. never seen it. Yeah. How about for you, Dad? Uh, well, something I haven't heard a lot of people talk about is that the shadow moves across the surface of the Earth at the speed of sound. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Wow. And so it would have been neat to see that shadow cruise across us like that. You know, it's, it's, I mean, just all the aspects of the eclipse are just really just unique, you know. Yeah. Now, you have your entire family out here with you? Oh, uh, we're missing one boy. We're missing one boy. Yeah, he stayed in Austin. Okay. Yeah. There's you have your one son, son there. Like. Hey, how's it going, Warren? <laughs> <laughs> I got Warren and my wife, Lucy, here. Lucy, yes. hi Lucy. Hi Lucy. Hi. Yeah, we're putting you. We're putting you on the spot. Oh boy. <laughs> you guys do this as a family, right? How excited are you today? I am very excited, but I'm about to cry if it's not. Gonna <laughs> come. We're all feeling that. Yes, I yeah. think we're all kind of like, come on, clouds, right? Yes, but we we will see something. I know. I can feel it. It will. We'll see something. What a great experience you guys have together as a family to do this. Why is that important to you? This is, this is very special because we were just talking about it last night that they might see the next one. And, and I said, oh, yeah, me too. I, I'll be there too. <laughs> but this is very special. It's, um, I don't know, it's... <laughs> Get emotional, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> emotional. But yeah, we um, we're just very lucky that he just knows all the things, and we just as a, it's a package deal, you know. Someone has it's a package deal where it goes, we all go. Yeah, I, <laughs> I love that. that. And we and we love it. We are always together wherever it goes. <laughs> Do you consider yourselves amateur astronomers or are you a little bit, are you novices now? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm a, uh, amateur still. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm more of a photographer. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I, I mean, you're here though and like a couple of telescopes down, you've got the guys from UTSA that are out here over is, there. You've got some students. I mean, it, it it's is, a good mixture. It is a good mix and it is, uh, it, it's, it's neat to have, you know, some competition, I guess. Yeah. Put it that way. I want, I want uh, to see. We're yeah. going to have all your pictures afterwards, and we're going to compare. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No. No. Actually, that, that's the point. Is um, you know, in photography, especially for something like this, you're not just taking uh, pictures; you're gathering data. You know, and some. You know, I mean, I'm very happy to share these pictures that I grab with anybody. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Well, we'd love to see them yeah, at KSAT. Sure. So if you oh, send yeah, them, we would. Them. We would love to see them. All right. I'll get them. Harlan, I'll thank you. you. Thank you, Pleasure guys. To meet you. Thank you, Avalon. Yeah, Lauren, nice to meet you. Mom, nice to meet you. Thank you guys for coming <laughs> out here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Lucy. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, I, I'll have the tissues I, I said ready, okay? I there's a good mixture of uh, amateur, professional, novices, people who are here, photographer, people who study these kind of things. Brian from UTSA joins us back here, and uh, I'm going to yeah, let so you get you in the middle the there. Um, your thoughts at this moment? Not gonna happen. Oh. Hate to say it, but we're uh, about 30 minutes from totality. I just don't see any trends that would uh, show encouragement that okay. we're gonna get a clear view. So, what will we experience then because the cloud cover is so heavy? Well, still gonna get dark. Uh, okay. I'm curious whether it's gonna get very, well, very, but the temperature will drop because the clouds are gonna serve as a blanket. So. Uh, I'm curious what that's going to happen. So I'm always thinking of the science, right, so, right. The, the, the little things. You mm -hmm. know. Um, it, it's still going to be an ooh ah, 
you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I see the, a little disappointment here in your face, but uh, what, the, what is the bright side of this, though? Like you said, it's still going to get dark. We still get to go through this. Yeah, yeah. It's, we're still going to see something. And, you know, it's, uh, yeah, you know, it, it, I'm bummed out, you know. Uh, my my thing was, and a carryover from what I did at the 2017 eclipse, is that I measured the speed of the shadow. Um, I was hoping to do something with that, but that's just not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. And this is how it works, right? You that's just don't know. Works. You know what? Well, you know, we are looking up at the sky almost every day, and this is something we live with. Right. Uh, so it, it happens. It, it's just par for the course. Right, yeah. right. And then you brought some of your, your team here. Yeah, so yeah. They didn't have you, any better to go. But to be honest with you, we didn't commit to a location till last week, and I spoke to you. Uh-huh. We wanted to stay fluid in the event uh, of clouds yeah <laughs> but uh there's there is no clear spot so just go where uh, we committed to and make the fun and we're having fun have a good time talking to people uh people by nature are curious about this so it's still a win for us yes we're talking yes. about astronomy and stuff that they can see well and that's what i was talking about is you have you know a good mix of amateurs, novices, experienced astronomers right. that are out here. And so a lot of what you're doing out here is not only chronicling what ha- what's happening, you're educating. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's all about. So it's it's not a not a, the greatest. Uh, uh, we, we'd like to have a, a good view of the eclipse. But, uh, you know, everybody's out laughing, having a good time. Everyone uh, is being very civil to one another. So uh, now afterwards, going home, that's going to be a different story. <laughs> but... Uh, you know, I'm not anticipating getting yeah, out of here I'm very not. quickly, that's yeah. for sure. I've, I've vowed not to get on the interstate uh, based on my experience from 2017, but yet here I am, and i got to take I-10 back home. I don't know, maybe, maybe the back roads, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. We'll see how creative we have to get, yeah, right, right, to get back to San Antonio. I made sure to top off my tank. So. <laughs> Same, yes. Yeah. And you've been looking forward to this for, you said, 20, 20 years. years. Yeah. So what are you looking you towards know, the future, too, now? Uh, a lot of people think that this uh, you, we take supercomputers to calculate these things uh, eclipses are very easy to calculate and figure out where they're going to be now uh, we the, the shape of this eclipse from, from the southwest to the northeast we're going to get the same eclipse in uh, 18 years and whether it be a 10 11 or uh, uh, 12 days based on uh, how many years have a uh, uh, leap year. So, but it'll, it'll be the same shape, but it'll be at a different point on the Earth. Um, so these all go in cycles. You know, this one came, there will be others. So. Well, scientific, it's kind of over my head, really. Yeah. I like when you explain it because yeah, uh, we're learning from you. Learning, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I play one on TV. There you go. There you go. All right, we'll check in with you a little oh, bit later. I'll be here. Around the time probably when totality, totality should be happening. That'd be great. About 30 minutes. All right, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, right, Brian. We have some young ladies here who I think have been waiting to yes, talk to us. Yes, yes. Come on. Come on in Come here. Come on in. Come on in. All right. What's your names? Uh, Pippa. Penelope. Penelope and Pippa. I love y'all's names. Where are you guys from? Uh, New Braunfels, Texas. New Braunfels. You're from New Braunfels. Okay, talk about what you're ex- expecting uh, today. Uh, to be, like, really exciting, like the moon, like, like the moon to cover the sun and stuff. So it's going uh, to get, like, really dark. So that's what you're excited about? Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever experienced an eclipse before? Well, not a total eclipse. Okay. Perfect. But, like, kind of. So you came out here today. Who'd you come with? Um, her her sister and my mom and her yeah. mom and her little brother. What do you think your emotions are going to be when this happens? When everything goes dark? Have you thought about that? Like um, amazed and like excited. Excited and like amazed. <laughs> you think you'll get emotional? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hard to admit no. on live TV that you no. might get emotional. She says but, no. You know, okay. No, no emotion. It's hard to know, right, though, until it happens. Uh-huh. And then maybe you'll feel something. You don't know. Maybe. <laughs> what do you think about being out here with all these people at the Dog and Pony Grill here? You've got huge telescope. You're, you're standing right in front of Telescope City. You've got all these people who are out here for the same exact thing. Have you thought about that? Uh, maybe a little. Like, what do you think? I think it's like really cool and like how and like how a lot of people want to like see it and like how like not a lot of people get to see it in their life. 
Are you all into science? Is this intriguing you more to learn more about space and, and astronomy? Um, yeah. Uh, just a little. Yeah. <laughs> just a little. You don't. You don't think you're going to become an astronomer after this? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Probably. Have, have they let you look through some of these telescopes back there and things like that? Uh, no. Okay. I'll see if I can set that yeah, up for you. I'm sure we'll they'll see, let you. See if we can make just that happen. <laughs> it's. It, 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 I, I, I am, I'm amazed, though, by the different telescopes that we have here and the different people and people selling things from Eclipse Burgers yes. to the T-shirts to cookies. Have you, have you had anything Eclipse-related yet? Uh, I had an Eclipse cookie. Was it good? Yeah. Did, Did Eclipse any other cookie you've ever had? <laughs> uh, uh, probably sure. Not. <laughs> Did you try anything? Um. I had like an eclipse float. Oh, that sounds good. Have you met anybody from other places? Like we talked to a family that's here from Georgia. We talked to, uh, we've seen other people that are mm -hmm. here from Florida, people from Kansas. Alabama. Have you talked to any of those people? Um, not really, but I talked, but like, I talked to one person, but I don't know where they're from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What'd you talk about? <laughs> Um, they just came up to me and asked if they want to play soccer. Oh, so you got to play a little go. soccer out here. Where did that? Oh, I was going to look for our official Eclipse dog, but I think he's probably oh, yeah, uh, he moved on at this point. Did you see the dog with the Eclipse glasses? Uh, no. It's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. So, so you guys are you, excited. I, 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 Eddie, can we walk through the telescopes that are back here? Thank you, ladies, very much. Have fun. Thank you, ladies. All right, so if we walk back here, Eddie, I want to talk about, I don't know how far we have for, I want to talk about this. Will you show us this telescope right here? Talk about this telescope and why it's so special, Brian. I wouldn't say it's really special, but yeah, to, to us uh, uh, astronomers, even uh, solar astronomy, we can look at the uh, light from the sun, or really from any star, uh, different different. Um, aspects of it and with this telescope it's made specifically to stare at the hydrogen alpha line uh, I know that's kind of complicated but it just, it's a real <laughs> real special area we look at and we can actually stare at what we what like to call the surface I mean there's no true surface of the Sun but we can see the storms prominences flares uh, burping off I like to say burping but coming off the Sun and we can, we can see that in real time well, this is stuff that the average telescope is not going to pick up. Right, that is correct. You know, you can see a lot of people have these with white filters, and they're fairly, uh, they're much more economical to own. So that's the reason why people went with them. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you can see sunspots on the sun, but you won't see the storms as they're erupting. And uh, thus, we have this telescope here mm -hmm. to do that. Yep. So, um, are you hopeful at all right now? Are you still thinking that? I mean, we have a chance, maybe. Yeah, no, uh, I'm. I, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, look, I'm looking at the, the, the flow, the flow of air, uh, the moisture, it's all coming in from the Gulf. Yeah, we're just out of it. I'm, I'm very curious though, if even though it's cloudy, are you, can you see anything with this yeah, fancy lot, one you have? Yeah, a little misconceived notion. Okay. Uh, a lot of people feel that uh, telescopes look through clouds. That's not the case. Ah, okay. We don't, we don't, we have a lot of technology we use. But we don't have that kind of technology okay. to burn through the clouds. So I'd like to. I can make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> when you come up with that, let me yeah. cut me in yes. on it. Will you, let, will you do that for me? Yeah, need some seed money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who are you out here with? Like, who's your entourage that you're out here with? I'm actually, I have two of uh, my guys, uh, Caleb Gimmar. He's over there working on one scope. And then Re Renee Cardenas. He's uh, also with me at the observatory. Yeah, yeah. Renee, you're just hanging out. No, no, you can stay right where you're. Okay. <laughs> Talk about being out here and what you've experienced so far. Well, obviously the first time I've been on, on camera, so that's completely, <laughs> completely new and different. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, we've done a lot of this stuff before, but I was not expecting anything like that, the whole fair going on outside. Mm -hmm. And everything has just been, it's been fun. The sun came out for a few minutes, everybody came to their scopes, and then it disappeared. <laughs> Yeah, we had that moment of hope, yeah, right? Of hope, but still, yeah. everyone's in a great mood and still trying yeah, to take no, it in. It's still going to happen. We're on together. Just uh, we're kind of missing the, the the show, so that's that thing. So yeah, glad I came out here for that, and it would have been my first one. So hopefully, I'll 
be around for the next one. Well, technically, it is still your first one. Even though we're not going to get that. It will still happen. (laughs) We were here. We can say we were here. Right. It just, you know, the eclipse got eclipsed. The eclipse got eclipsed. (laughs) Yeah. No cloud filter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, that's right. Your emotions as you're standing here right now. I'm sorry? Your emotions as you're standing here right now. A little nervous. (laughs) But, uh, well, like I said, just happy to be, be here with everyone. And, again, when we when the sun did come out, it was nice to get everyone together and just, like, look really quick because it's going to go away. Yeah. And then, yeah, sure enough, it did. How long but, did that last? I know we were over there in three the – minutes. Okay, okay. Couple three minutes. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a five mm-hmm. all together, but it wasn't very long at all. So. I- Do you, are you thinking at all about, you know, experiencing the total – when it when it goes under and darkness, how that's going to be. Some people get emotional, and I was kind of expecting to do the same thing, you know. But <laughs> when we did the partial one, that was really cool. Uh, and then the annular one uh, last year, that was nice. Mm-hmm. But I was really looking forward to this one, and I was, I, I kind of have a feeling that I would have been a little, you know, emotional. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people do. Yeah. Yeah. So just just because it would have been, you know. You see it all the time. Now it disappears. Mm-hmm. And, and all the hype, too, leading yeah, up to today. All, but all, now that's it's like, okay. The unknown so. of Mother Nature, right? Yeah. And I want to show the quilt here because Brian's wife made that. Isn't that beautiful? So it's Your what, wife made that, Brian? Yes, she did. That's She's very a nice. Yeah. It's what we would have seen, right? It commemorates <laughs> the total eclipse. It's yes. got the date on the top of it. It's very beautiful. I think we put a picture of it on social yes, media. Yes, we did. So if you we didn't did. get a chance to see that. You can check it out right now. Of course, San Antonio in the background. Parts of San Antonio will experience the totality yes, of yes, this solar I, eclipse. Okay, we're going to go back to yep, put this yep. on a tripod okay. right now for Eddie. Spare his shoulder. Come on over here. Yes. I forget how heavy right, those cameras I'm gonna are. Let you, I'm going to let you talk about the, the uh, quilt, and I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> okay, so tell us about this quilt. It's awesome. How long did it take you to make? Uh, about 20 hours. Yeah, it actually was a relatively quick quilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You can come close to me so Sorry. we can. Yeah, that's okay. Whoops. Oh. Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay. Okay. You okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's talk about this quilt. Okay. So the basic central pattern was a pattern that you can find online right now. I think it's called like the eclipse quilt or something and it had uh, quilt squares on the top and bottom I was making this for my husband Brian uh, being an astronomer didn't think he really cared about the quilt so I added the skyline of San Antonio and the memorial day to commemorate the event how are you feeling right now I know Brian your husband a little disappointed but it's still a moment to take in I mean you made this awesome quilt it's a memory right it's an experience either way like you know, I'm disappointed I'm not going to get to see it, but I think we're going to still get to really experience what it's like to have totality. Uh, kind of the eeriness, all of that's still going to be present. So, as just ahead, yes. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. You have your glasses ready? Uh, they're over there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. Steve was so kind to hold that up. Oh, we got a little bit. You see how excited everybody got? Okay. Well, your quilt is beautiful. How long have you been Thank quilting? Thank you. Uh, about 20 years. You did an, an amazing job. We had that moment, right? We thought, we thought that it was there. <laughs> I'm looking at Brian's face. He's like, okay. A little hopeful. And, oh, they, said I wasn't, and yes, then they said I wasn't good yes. for anything, right? <laughs> yeah. I was, I was holding up the uh, quilt in case you wondered, you know, who is, yes. behind, who is the man you, behind Steve, the curtain. Thank you, for that. There. that yes. Was and so they're actually, you can barely make out the sun just a little bit above us. And people got very excited about the fact I'm putting them that on. you could make out the sun for yeah. just a moment there. And then it went away. Yeah. No, nothing. <laughs> and now it's nothing. I know. I know. And that's the thing is like people are very excited. And I really, that's the most disappointing part I think to I me know. is just getting the reactions of the people that are out here yes. enjoying all this. Yes. I wanted to capture that too, their excitement. Um, I mean, again, you never know. Like could open up a little bit. Uh, a lot of people that came out here obviously hoping to see the whole thing. But 
Yes. I'm wondering where we're at right now. On I know we made that first contact, and how far away do you I know? I think we're about 15 minutes okay. away okay. from uh, totality out here in Bernie. It should last about three minutes, 3.30, something like that is what yes, I saw. Yes, here in Bernie, yes. I know Comfort was about four minutes, and uh, the farther north you go there in Kerrville is obviously the prime with NASA being there and everything, and, and our crew's all over, too. So I'm curious how the weather is where they're at in Fredericksburg. I, I, I don't I, know. I am, too, and I keep, actually, they have our uh, KSAT Plus streams mm -hmm. up. Okay. Uh, in the uh, bar area, so oh. I keep looking up there okay. and kind of seeing exactly what's going on and where everybody is, and so I have not seen any sunny skies yet. So, so nobody got. Yeah, we're I'm all a little disappointed. We have not seen okay. the sun yet. It's so. unfortunate. Yes, yeah, so we'll have to check in with them, but uh, I think I think people are still excited, Steve, to be out here. And, Absolutely. I mean, it's still a moment to take in. Yeah, I'm thinking so. maybe that just maybe. I'm, all right. Putting them on. I'm putting them on. <laughs> if for no other reason, then maybe this will bring us good yeah. luck. I really can't see anything no. right now, but uh, yeah. I've got should these I on, join? and I'm okay. thinking, yes, I think you should. All right, this is hopeful. I'm thinking if we put on Come the glasses, on. On. the clouds will break. <laughs> and uh, Yeah, you can't see anything. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Okay. It's not happening. No. But we tried. Yeah. We you gave never it our know. best. You never know. Even Diana has hers on. <laughs> yes. We gave it our best. Yeah, I know. I was thinking maybe if I looked up, I see other people are putting theirs on probably because we put ours yeah. on and they think maybe <laughs> maybe something's happening yeah, that we no. don't know about. No. But no, it's just happening. wishful thinking. It peaked out for a second. It, it did. did. And it people did. got excited. That's oh, what we were saying. Just a minute ago. Yeah, I know. And people got yeah, excited. I saw him. Yep. He yeah. was holding the quilt, but. Yeah. You know, we got hopeful there, which I think it might break again. You don't know. It could. All right. Oh, look. See? Here right. we go. You oh, don't even wow. need glasses right now. I know. You can see it a little bit. With the glasses, wow. I don't see it, but I'm just looking right through the clouds here. Wow. Wow. Just the fact that you can see it just a little bit. I'm excited. Is getting look people excited about it. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like you don't need them. Ah, you wow. clowns. They're teasing us, Mother it Nature. It is a tease. It's, it's just telling kind of like what's happening, and you see all these other people that are taking it in. Uh, even that little bit, though. It's like I felt it. I got a little goosebumps, maybe. Oh, yeah. No, it's gone again. I definitely think so. Yeah. It's peeking through, so I, I, I'm so hopeful. Oh, there it is again. See that? Look at that. At least you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> I love everyone cheering. Oh yeah. Come on, Mother Nature. <laughs> right now, it's like a it's like a thumbnail. Yes. Like it's what it kind of looks like. It's yes. like a fingernail. Yes. Right there. So you got all this stuff happening. And it's gone again. So we're getting a little bit of break up there. Yeah. Which is. Exciting. Okay, I'm excited just for that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's what so it, we'll it takes very little when there's so much cloud cover that if you can just get it even a glimpse of it, right, right. people are excited yeah, about I it. Hear that, so right? that's that's At the least they got awesome that. part. Yeah, absolutely. That's and it does awesome feel like part. it's getting darker too, yeah. It is definitely getting darker. I don't know, like you said, if we'll hear the crickets and all of that. Let's see where we're at right now. We're about one twenty. Okay. So we're a few minutes. You know, the birds will be into flock thinking it's close to nighttime. Yep, yep. Crickets will start making noise. Yes. But, I mean, I don't know. I mean, just look at all the people that are standing there that are just catching a glimpse of it. Eddie, I don't know if you can see that shot over there. Everybody just taking it in, hoping. You know, they came from Georgia. I they feel came, for that's them. part of the Georgia family <laughs> over there. Yes. And there are people that are standing and taking a look at exactly what's happening right now because they're so excited about the fact that we're seeing something, anything, right? Yes. Yeah, we're all trying. We're trying. And, and like Brian said, if he had that telescope that could see through clouds, oh, wow, the money he would make on that. But, yeah, unfortunately, even the telescopes can't see through. You can see where it should be, clouds. though, now. Yes, Now at can. least we have that track yeah, down, right? Exactly. We know the region, the zone there. 
And I am curious how the animals, even at the zoo, are. I know for back in October I visited, and they said they didn't know what to expect, how they would act. So I am curious how. Because you, you have heard the stories of like other places, like animals acting differently. Yes. During a solar eclipse. Yes. And this morning I heard coyotes and birds at 5 a.m. that I don't normally hear. So I thought about that too. I don't know if that means anything, but I thought it was interesting. So yeah, we can't. We got the music going. We can't really hear a lot of a. Uh, I guess crickets is what we should be hearing right now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Did Look, your, there it goes did your, again. Okay. I want to know. Uh, first of all, give us your name. Uh, Caleb Gimar. All right, Caleb. Did your parents make it in? Oh uh, yes, they did. They are actually right uh, back there. A uh, woman in the uh, kind of gray jacket there. Uh, dad, uh, is that your dad right there with the no, hat? No, that's my grandfather. Oh, okay. uh, Grandpa came see. too. Dad. Yeah, he's around here somewhere. <laughs> so, so they came all the way from Kansas. They came all the way from Kansas. Yep, to, all see, the way. to see a solar eclipse. To see a solar eclipse. And yeah. their son. And their son. Yeah, and well, actually, we, we we did a lot of cool stuff this weekend. We went to the air show at Randolph on uh, Saturday morning. That was an awesome time. So no, we've we've had quite a time this uh, weekend. It's been a fun time. Are yep. you? I, 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 as as somebody that's into astronomy like you are. Uh, I've enjoyed the fact that even we we see a glimpse of the sun, people are getting excited. Yeah, no, it's uh, always an awesome time. Even with those brief glimpses, you know, you're still seeing something really awesome. Even if it's obscured during the eclipse, you'll still see the darkness go over the land. You'll still hear all the animal noises change. It will still be something awesome to experience for that brief period of time. Uh, but, it, you know, hopefully we might be in luck. We might get that little break in the clouds and be able to see the solar corona. That's what we really look for. But even without that, you know, still a fun time. Yeah. yeah. And you are an aspiring astronaut. Tell us about the program you're in at UTSA. Yeah, certainly. So, um... The astronaut thing's kind of a dream for me, but the uh, what I'm really uh, doing right now is I'm working my Ph.D. in physics in the uh, joint uh, UTSA Southwest Research Institute uh, Space Physics graduate program. So I actually mainly work in planetary science myself, uh, laboratory planetary science to be exact. I uh, examine the way uh, lunar soils appear in the ultraviolet in the lab environment, so I actually do work with the uh, lunar soil samples that the Apollo astronauts brought back over 50 years ago. Yep, And then kind of the other half of what I work on, I uh, examine the appearance of these hydrocarbon ices, like we find at Pluto's largest moon, Charon, and even places like Pluto itself, some of the icy moons in our solar system, like, yeah, it looks like we might have something here. There we go. Up oh, just for a brief moment. Right now, um, as far as the first contact, and then are we are we getting close to second contact here? Uh, actually, no, we're not quite to uh, to uh, first contact yet. We've still got about another uh, ten minutes to go, or so at least, maybe before about totality. Minutes before totality. But yeah. what we're seeing right now is part partial eclipse. Is partial eclipse? Yes, that's what we're seeing right now. Yep. All of your yep. knowledge. Wow. Uh, by the way, very impressed by everything you were telling me. It's yeah. a little over my head, but oh, I, I'm yeah, glad. That's yeah. why I'm glad you guys are here to kind of fill us in. Uh, so we're getting some break up there. That's exciting. Yeah. No. Again, every once in a while you get some glimpses, and it, the cloud cover is thick enough. You know, you probably without the glasses as much, you can look up and see every once in a while. You know that. And that's that. okay because we have the clouds. So yeah, some of us aren't using the. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not great. Definitely have sunglasses on, you know, because you don't want that UV stuff hitting your eyes. But, yes, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Thank you so much, Caleb. Um, yeah, this is great. I know. I saw the guy over there with the dog that we were trying know, to talk yeah. with. Yeah. Caleb, thank you Th- so Caleb, much. Caleb, yeah. I was gonna, I was going to lure your parents over here to talk oh, about their well, trip so sure. far, but that's all right. That's all okay. right. Don't worry no, about I it. Can, they're they're looking at, here, no, they're looking at the sun, man. No, no, let, them, let, them, let, them, yeah. let them let yeah. enjoy themselves. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe after totality here, we'll... Uh, we can get them over. Here. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I appreciate it, Caleb. Yeah, no Take problem. care. Thank you, yeah, Caleb. Yeah, yeah. Good Take luck care. to you. Yes. All right. Yeah, we did just see the guy walking around with his dog. I'm going to try to get him to come over here. Oh. <laughs> huh? That's cute. Okay, That's let's go so over this cute. way. We're going to come to you. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right, man. Hi. Sorry. Oh, no. All right. Eddie's stepping on their uh, cable. All right, here we go. Give me your name first of all. My name's Wally. Wally, what's your last name? Robles. Where are you from? 
San Antonio down the street. What brings you out here today? Well, I was watching y'all on the news all morning, and uh, I found my way out here with my stepdad, and we wanted to see the the eclipse. We were here last year when the, the when the annular eclipse was here, so we're in the exact same spot that we were. It's kind of cool. Yeah, talk about what you expected, and uh, are you disappointed at all? A little disappointed because <laughs> of the clouds, but that's to be expected. I know a few people are, but... Uh, regardless, we know that it's still going to get pretty dark out here, and uh, we're going to see how everyone reacts here in a little bit. Yeah, I'm already feeling it's getting darker mm -hmm. now, and uh, you said you were here back in 2023? This yeah, exact we're in Bernie. This exact spot here at Dog and Pony, so it's actually pretty cool that we got a two-for-one show. Yeah. yeah. Do you, th I mean, once everything goes black, once everything, you know, like it's night, do you think you'll feel any emotions? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think I think I'm gonna be more excited. I'm I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna be screaming their heads off though. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's nighttime! Well, so. Just the fact that when we see glimpses of the sun, people uh, going ooh and aahing and just excited for that. Yeah, every every few minutes or so, like little parts of the clouds uh, separate, and you can see little bits and pieces. And it's so cloudy that you don't really need the sun the the sunglasses yet, but. You can kind of look at it. I'm not condoning this, but you can kind of look at it with your bare <laughs> eyes uh, because there's so many clouds. But whenever we do get a sliver of the moon and the and the and the sun, everyone does go crazy. So yeah, mm -hmm. and I, I I also love the fact that you brought. Uh, Who is this? Yeah, who is this? This is my little buddy Chomp. They're expecting that the birds will react a certain way, and they're expecting that. Um, Crickets may start chirping. I mean, I'm guessing. I mean, I actually heard cicadas for the first time the other night. So I'm wondering oh. if that's going to happen. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm. I wouldn't be surprised if my dog just dropped down and went to sleep because he loves to sleep. So who he's knows? A good, he's a good sleeper. I guess we'll find he's out, a right? Good sleeper. Yeah. I feel like okay. here's, here's the best thing. In case you missed what he said earlier. How did you find this place? I was on. I was watching KSAT all morning long, and I don't have cable, so I'm on the app watching them live the entire morning and they're saying okay i10's backed up so we went straight up babcock and bypassed a bunch of stuff so uh we we made it here in record time i'm pretty proud wow. to say that you yeah. took some back roads i'm glad that you watched the case that app. oh there we go oh, there it is <laughs> Woo! you see what i mean when yes! i say you don't need right. sunglasses to right. look at it oh yeah I'm loving the excitement. <laughs> it's almost wow. like we're more excited just because we, we're not seeing it the whole I time. Know. People are going to start yelling whenever you see little bits of the sun. So. <laughs> and I hope that continues. I, uh, so do I. It's, you know, you were asking me what emotions I would feel. I'm super excited right now. Yes. So. I'm, I'm feeling that, too. I'm getting the little goosebumps every time. Uh -huh. People are screaming. Seems like Don't we're getting close. Your eyes, I like, know. like directly. We'll see how Chomper does here then we'll when it gets dark, yeah? I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> right, Chomper? He says yes. He says yes. <laughs> absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. All right, man. I appreciate you catching yes. us on Thank the app. Thank you, Wally. Yeah. Thank Take you. care. Have a wonderful have day. Fun, yes. Take care. Oh, that excitement. Hi. All right. Come on over. Come on over. Dancing on the moon. I am dancing, dancing on, on the moon. moon. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. It's a recital shirt, but yeah, I'll reuse it. Yes, I just glasses that's it yes so i i'm struck by the fact that there are people obviously disappointed yes. that we're not going to get to see it without clouds but there's also an excitement when we do see it um, i think it's going to get kind of dark and scary here in a second for me but that's okay <laughs> i'll see it through my tears wishing it was sunny before yeah i yeah. know i know did what why did you decide to come out of here today what do you think, Robin? Well, in New Braunfels, it wasn't like a full, so we wanted to get as close as we could, but without going to the crowd. So we were like, Bernie is the best bet. Yeah, I yes. work in Bernie a lot. It's a quick shot on 46, so we yeah. just no we traffic. Check it out. Yeah, so it 46. seems like it's something you should experience together, yes, right? Definitely. Yeah, we're like with our daughters, old school friends. We're besties. You talked to our daughters earlier. They're besties. And, yes. So, yeah. So we that's why I thought you guys looked so familiar. I thought you, I thought you looked so. Cake. We were like mommy yeah. and them from oh, behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're like telling them what to say. Yes. We had a pre-interview. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, yes. This is fun. This is in the clouds. Yes. If you look, the they're clouds changing are kind color. Of changing color. Yes. A little bit. They are. I think it's getting darker. You said you were going to be scared once it got dark. Is that what I heard you say? My heart's beating kind of fast right now. Oh my goodness! Yeah. That's what you're feeling. Yeah. We ask about the emotions, right? Because you feel different things, but the darkness is kind of giving you I a mean, little scare. My daughter was asking me if the world was going to end. Oh. Yes. My daughter was. Like, I mean, it wasn't like a happy yes. thought, but I mean, I was like, well, if it ends, I'm with the people oh. I love. Yeah. <laughs> 
And it'll be okay, but... Try to tell them the science behind it. We're like, nothing is going to happen. It's all science, yes. And it happens, yes. There's too many theories out there, right? There are way too many theories out there, yes. Give us your names. I'm Katie. Katie. And I'm Robin. Katie and Robin from New Braunfels. Okay. Do you, I mean, there's actually some shadows maybe that could happen? Yes. I mean, I... Shadows? Yeah. With the lack of they the, they, so there's still going to be right. there could be some right. shadows, okay. I mean, but I think it's going to happen. Like it's like uh, seven o'clock or something, eight o'clock already. Maybe I think it's going to go to sleep early happening. tonight. We yes. Have two minutes. yes. Okay. I mean, I'll take a shadow. That's fine. But I think it's just very important that we're all experiencing this together, you know. And it's just kind of a communal thing that is so rare, once in a lifetime, more or less for this area. And I, I am a Texas girl, so I'm going to tell you, for this to be happening in Central Texas, I consider it a blessing yes, to be able to be a part of it. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. And it's also, everybody's in a good mood. You think people might be bummed out because of the clouds, and I think there's a little bit of that, but people yeah. are in a good mood. Yes. It's hot. It's, it's yeah, nice. no, it feels great outside, <laughs> yes. That's, that's the positive thing, is the weather feels great now, yes, yes, I will say. And and it is getting darker. Wow. It is. You feel this? Okay. Feel it. All right. It's happening right now. <laughs> All right. Are you feeling this? Let's go right, back to your daughters. You Have fun. Thank, thank you. you. Don't be don't be scared. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't be scared. That's the biggest thing. I mean, look at the mood, Steve. Everybody's happy, taking it in. Absolutely, and that's the thing. Like people are standing, and you might think people would be one minute away. Okay. Boom. <laughs> right. Okay. You might think people would be bummed out because of the clouds, but they're not. I mean, this is an exciting time. I'm this excited. Is an exciting Steve. thing to happen. <laughs> All right. So, is this a mother? Is this a mother daughter here? Is that who we're talking about? Okay, come here, both of you. Come here, mom. No, come here, mom. Oh, it's happening! All right, your emotions as you're standing here, and it's getting dark in the middle of the day. Oh uh, well, it's very unusual and unexpected. It's very, very strange. Cool. It went from light to dark in the span of seconds. Yeah. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I didn't mean yes. to pull you no, over right not. as the eclipse He's happened. Been standing here stalking y'all. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Camera. Good. All right, then I, I don't apologize. I take it back. Yeah. Take it in, guys. Take it in. All right, okay. we're just going to be quiet here yep. and just let you experience yes. this. This is amazing. Oh, this is so cool. I know. The lights oh, have come on. It is a light switch. Yeah. It's a light switch. I didn't know how it was going to feel. This is a lot. Look how dark this is. Wow. And the really cool thing during all of this is that you would see, like, all along the horizon, it looked like sunrise, sunset, but we can't today because of Wow. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh. Woo! <laughs> all right, we just saw it. Wow. That is amazing. I would like to thank Mother Nature for giving us just like a split I appreciate second that. of time to I actually do. see it. 
It's one like more. you got one more in you, Mother Nature. Yeah. Yeah, come on, you can do it I one mean, more time. That made me tear up. Seriously. Wow. We have two more minutes. It could happen. Okay. And two minutes is a long time, right? And TV time too. It's got the jazz going over there. Yeah. That little glimpse though, wow. We'll take another. Come on. Give us another glimpse. How much time we have left, Diana? We have one minute. One minute. Okay. One minute Let's see what happens. Maybe a little less. Wow. I just wonder how my dogs are doing at home. <laughs> Confused. <laughs> Yeah. They're like napping. Yes. That's how they're I'm sure mine. The confusion. <laughs> I'm just looking up hoping. Oh. It's, like it's funny because you don't even have to look up. Like the crowd just tells you that yeah, we're seeing right. something. Yeah, they'll and let you're us like, know. oh, okay. They'll let us know up. for That's sure. My indicator the entire day. Yeah. I feel like it's up. Oh, it's passing. <laughs> so it's 135 in the afternoon and it feels like, like it's eight, midnight yeah yeah it's just, we're coming out of totality now okay okay we should be so coming out of totality lighter. okay oh wow I appreciate what you can get, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm looking at that dog. He just looked confused. Like, yeah. What just happened? <laughs> Dog's like, what time is it? Yeah. <laughs> what time is it? What is happening? He's, he looks so confused. What, what's going on, Brad? I know. Yeah, the next trick. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> We got a tiny glimpse. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Right? And it made me tear up. Honestly, I was like, "Wow, it's just beautiful." All right, so we are coming out of totality right now, as you can tell, because you can see me, and I just, it, it, I am. I know we caught just a brief glimpse of it. Yeah. But it was awesome. It was. I teared up. I didn't know how I was going to feel, but it's just the, the beauty of Mother Nature. <laughs> I don't know. It got me. It got me, and everybody felt it here. They yeah. let us know, like you said, Steve. They were screaming, and we just caught at least 10 seconds. Yes, absolutely. Huh? Yeah, I know. Is it Tuesday? Is it Tuesday? What just happened? <laughs> is that what it is? Is it Tuesday? That's what it feels like. Hey, buddy. Hi. Oh. I'm Steve. What's your name? My name is Benjamin. Benjamin, what'd you think about what just happened? I was like, oh, uh, what is happening? <laughs> what do you think now? That the sun, does it feel like it's a new day? Yeah, I, I'm like, why is it so, why, what, like, when it was dark, I was like, why is it so dark? <laughs> you have a story to tell when you go back to school, right? Yes. It's about the... The eclipse. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you when you're giving a report at school? What are you gonna say? Like, describe it to me. I'm gonna say there was a there, I saw a, a full I saw a full eclipse. Oh, and yes. what happened? And it went, but when I saw the full eclipse, it went the sky went all dark. So I had to find the full eclipse. Yeah, I love it. How old are you, Ben? Four. Four. Benjamin, <laughs> sorry. Benjamin, <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> what do you think as you're standing here? I, I'm assuming this is your son. No. Okay. He's my godson. Okay, your oh, godson. Yes. What do you think as you're standing here experiencing this with him? This is really cool. I mean, I, this, this is the place that I work too, so it's awesome to see all of y'all come yes. out here, get to share this experience. This is really cool. <laughs> I was I, I was a little disappointed until it happened. You know, it could have wished for a little bit better, but I mean, at least we saw the totality of the darkness. <laughs> that felt that you felt that too, just it the was, darkness, right? It was kind of eerie, just a little bit. Yes, yes. 
I love the crowd, though, the, the oohs and the ahs. Like, I didn't have to really pay attention to the sky. I could just tell when it happened. Anywhere you were at, you just, like, instantly started clapping or ooing. I'm like, oh, something's happening. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. All right, we're going to move on to some other people we got to talk to. Thank you. Thank you, Benjamin. All right, did you – what do you think about what just happened? It was really cool. <laughs> what was cool about it? That it, this is the only time it formed all of it that – because last time it was a half of it. Mm -hmm. What would you think about when it got dark? I got kind of scared. <laughs> and, um, but I was also very happy because it happened. Yeah, mixed yeah. emotions, right? Like you knew it was going to happen, but then when it happened, you felt something, huh? I cried. Oh, <laughs> you did? It's just so beautiful. It's something you never experienced. It's crazy. To think this won't happen again for... Yeah, some people never experience it, and that's amazing like i was able to live through it that's crazy i love the crowd just the reaction yeah. of every like we got to see it for maybe a few seconds but just that was enough yes yes it was so much it was great i love it i love this what do you think about getting to experience it together oh yeah we played hooky from school today <laughs> and work so it was it was good it was a good experience i'm so happy i got to experience it with my niece my a memory favorite. that you'll have forever now right yes forever yeah. all right give me your name Aria. Aria. Angelica. Aria and Angelica, thank you so much. Thank you guys. All right, look at the, oh, look who we have behind us. All right, I want to <laughs> know, I want to know, first off, give me your name. Adeline. Adeline, what did you think about what happened? It was cool. What was cool about it? Like how I saw how the clouds changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you get scared at all? Yeah, I did. You got scared a little bit? Yeah. How old are you? Six. You're six years old. Mm -hmm. All right. I love it. How special was this to experience this with, I'm guessing, your daughter? Not just my daughter. My three daughters, my sister, and my 85-year-old father. Oh. We've been planning this for about three weeks now, and it's been amazing. I'm sad about the cloud cover, but the vibe, everything was so good. Just knowing that they're not going to experience until they're beyond my age. Yeah. Yeah. How did you feel when it got completely dark, the totality, experiencing that? How are you feeling? The goosebumps are still happening Aww. because just imagine being the scientist behind 40 years of planning about what's happening with the atmosphere and mm -hmm. not having a sun in place. So mm -hmm. a lot is going on right now that people are just really unaware of. It, did, it seems to me like this is something that you should experience as a group, as a community. Did you get that feeling too? 100%. Oh, yes. Because the vibes when everybody actually started seeing it yes. and everybody yes. directed attention to it and the DJ who was actually playing the music to it. Yes. It's been a great experience. Yes. So amazing. Did your dad enjoy it too? <laughs> yes, because he might not see it again being as old as he is. So mm -hmm. it was phenomenal. Give me your name. I'm Marsha. Marsha. Yes. Marsha and Adeline. Nice to meet you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Yeah. Thank you. All right, that's the. I, I wanted to make sure I wasn't the only one that was feeling that, right, feeling that right. experience. Yes. Oh, and there we got the sun back. <laughs> I probably should put on the glasses for this part. Yes, I lost mine. Here they are. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> and you can see it passing by on the other side now. Yes. At least we got something. We got that glimpse, you know, earlier, and I think everybody here felt that. Still really cool to see. <laughs> yep. That's great. It's all part of the experience, yes, right? Yes. Of being out here yes. and experiencing what people are seeing. Did you expect it to get feeling? that dark? I did, did not. I know. I didn't I either. I knew it was going to get dark, but I didn't think it would get darker than it already was. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was going to get that dark. So yeah. that was that was interesting. <laughs> it was interesting. Yeah, it was great. I felt and, that. And, and there are still some people that are um, experiencing. I think in Fredericksburg, it still might still be eclipse time there. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we just know the, what our situation here in Bernie. And uh, again, I know Comfort got four minutes worth. So yeah, I think we're. It's happened. It happened. Wow. And all the build-up to this, too, it's so funny. And then it's, it's just so, it happens, it's it's done now. And I'm looking at everybody's reactions, too, because I know there was disappointment, but I think we're, that little 
glimpse we got, I think that was enough for this crowd. I, I, so I'm laughing about the foursome that we have behind us here and the fact that they are right now, they're comparing <laughs> their pictures. <laughs> Why don't you go over and what's talk up, to them, Jen? To say what's up to you guys? Hi, how you Hi. doing? What's up? Yeah, we see you on the news all the time. I appreciate it. Yeah. I appreciate Hi. it. You guys are awesome. Hey, how, how you doing? Hi. Hi. Hey, what did you think? What did you think so, about what we just experienced? It was it was amazing. Like just the actual darkness alone was was an experience. But actually, we actually got to see the corona actually pop out a little bit. Yeah. Which which was I mean we didn't think we were going to see anything because of the clouds, but I'm thankful we saw at least a few seconds of that. And it was amazing. It was like a miracle for us here, right? I mean, for a few seconds, we got to yeah. see it peering through the clouds. Yeah. So I can't ask like, for yeah. more than that. You I know, like a little when, as soon as it started getting dark, I felt like a coldness kind of come over my body. It was it was an interesting kind of experience. I don't know if you guys we felt it as San well. Antonio, we're glad we came here. Got to have a little bit more time yeah. in totality. Yeah, yeah. Give me your names. Oh, Christopher. Anthony. Yeah. Ramirez. Right. Yeah, so, we're twins. Yeah. So. We're on the northeast side of San Antonio, Crazy Cool Studios is our, our company, and we, uh, we I wanted to bring all my cameras and stuff, but I think it's better just to experience it rather than trying to get it on. Take it in, things. right? Take it in. Did you get emotional? I got yeah, emotional. No, we, we, we were hugging yeah. each other there. The yeah, we were. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was something else. So, yeah. I can't wait to put all the footage together. I'm making a little vlog. And kind of share share our little experience with the world. Will you send it to us at KSAT? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah, send sir. It to me. Yeah. Send it to me. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. We'll, right, we'll reach guys. out to you. Thank guys. you. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. you. Appreciate Thank you guys. You. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Thank All right. Oh, uh, we got a crew here. You guys want to be on camera? You want to be on TV? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what should we talk about? I don't know. Let's Wait, talk I about what you guys just went through. We just we just saw the the sun and the moon touch. The sun and the moon touch. We saw the eclipse. How did you guys feel when it got really dark? We felt like it was nighttime. Was that a little confusing? Yeah. <laughs> did you get scared at all? Um, no. No. And we also saw everyone just was looking up and everyone just went, whoa. <laughs> we got a little glimpse of it, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We even got to see the corona of the sun. Right, for just a close minute. We yeah. We're on TV. <laughs> yeah, we are. Kind of. <laughs> you want to say hi to anybody? Hi! What did, you think, what did you think when you saw the corona and when you saw it get so dark? I was thinking I better savor this moment because I'm probably not going to see it again for the rest of my life. Smart boy. <laughs> Smart guy. All right, give me your names. My name is Hayden. My name is Katia. My name is Adeline. All right. Did you guys have fun out here? Yes. Love it. All right, thank you guys. You're welcome. Have a, where are you guys from? Are you from Bernie? Um, I'm from here. You're from Bernie, okay. I'm from um, Texas. Yeah, okay. I'm from San Antonio. I had to drive almost a full hour to get here. I know. I had to drive half an hour. It was an completely hour. worth it, though. It completely worth it. So Absolutely. you had a good time? Yes. Okay, I'll let you guys go have fun. Continue. I really do. Bye. Evelyn sees this. <laughs> She's my cousin. So are they, are what are are one of the, is one of these your daughters? What is it like to experience this with was, your daughter? It was amazing. It's all about making memories um, with the family, and we're we're excited. And it's a, and this is something that we can look forward to talk about in the future. And I'm excited that we were able to come over here from Houston all the way over here. Yeah. That's great. Oh. Love it. Love it. <laughs> hey, Bye. how are you? What's your name? I'm Jonah. Jonah. So, Jonah, what did you think about what you just experienced? It was really dark and unlike anything that you'd find in Los Angeles where I live. And this camera broke right before. I couldn't figure out how to work this camera, so I didn't get a photo on this thing. Well, I think there are probably plenty of photos out there, but you came all the way from L.A. Yes. for this? Oh, wow. Yes. Was it worth it? Yes, totally. What were your emotions when it got so dark? Take a photo. Take a photo, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> do, you think, do you think you'll ever get to experience something like this again? Probably. There's going to be one in San Francisco in 10 years or 20 yeah. years. He or knows. Something. He's tracking it. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. For us, it's like going to be like hundreds of years before it hits Texas again. So it's very exciting. That's yeah. cool. 
Yeah. Have you enjoyed your time here in Texas? Yes, it's really cool. They have a lot of stuff to do in San Antonio. So you made a trip out of it, right? Had a good old time? Yes. Did your entire family come out here? Yeah. My, my dad come my on little in. brother. Come on in, little brother. Come on, Dad. Let's see your shirt. Too. No, come on, Dad. Okay, okay, okay. Look Talk about. Shirt. Look at that. <laughs> I was there. Solar eclipse. I love it. I love it. Talk about what you thought. It was really cool. Did you get scared when it got dark? Not really. No, not at all. What did you feel? Did you feel anything at all? Did you get emotional? It got dark, so I felt, and I felt cold. It's <laughs> true. I felt cold too. Did you have a fun time coming with your family here for this? You guys been waiting and anticipating this for a while. Yeah. yeah. Right. Thank you so much. I'll let you guys go. Have Continue a safe have trip fun. back to yes. LA. Thanks for hanging here. Thank you for here. visiting us. Appreciate it. ABC San Antonio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's, I mean, okay, I thought Georgia was the record for as far away. We're going to have to, like, get out a a uh, mileage thing <laughs> and figure out what's farther away, Georgia or Los Angeles. Right, yeah, Los Angeles. Wow, that's a long way to come yeah. over here. I, yeah. I'm excited to I hear that. Had somebody from Alabama themselves. was here, too. Exactly, yes. I love it. I love it. All traveling just to come see. Oh, look at that, the cloud cover, though. I mean, that glimpse, though, was enough for me. I'm it glad. It was definitely enough. I'll take that. It so. was definitely enough. Yes. And I'm also struck by the fact that uh, I'm not sure anybody's going anywhere quickly, but there are a lot of people who have, like, just t- took off as yeah, soon as you're right. the uh, as soon as the totality started yes. getting sun again. People yeah, took that's off. that's it. They just came here for that. But it's been a great experience. Even the buildup, I think that excitement just had everybody just hoping and it's been a good time out here. We had our crew, too, behind the scenes that people can't see. I think they were anticipating. I know they brought their cameras, too. So hopefully they were able to get a good shot. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's exactly, I mean, just the, the crew behind the scenes that have been working with us have done a great job yes. having people come over and talk to us as yes. well. Um, and, I mean, the astronomers, they seem okay. <laughs> I think I think peop, I think the average person a little bit more excited than the astronomers yes. that are maybe out here. Yeah, I think they were keeping it real with us, and I could see on his face yes. he knew, and he was right. So, I, I get it. Building up to this, he said twenty years he has been planning for this particular eclipse. So, um, yeah, he sent a video to me of the last one he got, the last total to- in Wyoming, right? Yes. Isn't that where he yes. said he went in Wyoming? And he had a nice video, so at least he has that memory. <laughs> Okay, so, so I've talked to other people about what their experience was when we hit totality. What was your experience when we hit totality? I actually, well, I teared up when I saw when the clouds broke up. I don't, I don't even know why. It's just, I guess it's that moment with nature, and it's, I wasn't expecting it to get that dark. I wasn't yeah. expecting it to get that dark, and I really did not have high hopes that we were even going to see right. anything. Right. So when we did actually get to see it in totality, when it was so dark, it was great. How I mean, did you feel? Um, <laughs> awestruck? Does that mm-hmm. does that yeah. sound right? I right. felt awestruck by the fact that, I mean, we're seeing forces at play yes. that are well beyond us. Yes, I love how the little girl put it: the moon touching the sun. The moon touched the sun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love the fact that she said the moon touched the yeah, sun. Yeah, that was adorable. Yeah. But what a way to put that! And I did think about my kids too, and I was missing that. With, you know, I know they're having fun watching it. Did you think of? Like, I did. Right? I thought of my loved ones yeah. and my family members and people that I wish were here. Yes. We were watching it together. But, you know, you're they're you're watching. Just, you're, you're fine, too. <laughs> Your family, too. Yeah, exactly. We're a KSAT <laughs> family, so we got to experience it together. Right. Um, and I, by the way, Los Angeles is farther than Yes, Florida, thank you for so that. We got that. that. We got that yes. figured out. Diana Winters yes. again comes to, comes to play. We oh, look, we have, a, we have a friend from Mark Twain that's joining us. You want to come on TV? Okay, I want to go on TV. Yeah, come on. Come on, both of you. Stand right between us here. What's your name? Lincoln. Lincoln? What's your name? Witten. What is it? Witten. Witten. All right, talk about what the what the eclipse was like for you. Um, so I saw the dark, and it was cool. So I was jumping around like I'm crazy. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Was it different than what you expected? Yeah. In what way? It was a lot of dark, so it was very dark. And I don't know how it got dark because <laughs> the moon um, blocked the sun. Yeah, yeah. And 
How about you, buddy? I, I see you've got a Mark Twain. Are you guys all for Mark Twain? Oh, yes. Okay, no, good, Jesus. good. No, what did you? Twain. Huh? So, uh, no, I know you're not. Are you you're for Mark Twain. Yeah, did yeah, you, yeah. Did all right, talk about what you thought. It was cool. You're going to go in the news, The um, sun over there and... Um, and um, it got dark really fast, huh? Yeah. Did you get scared? I, uh, no. So I can say something. Go ahead. <laughs> and I didn't. It's not scary. Cause it's not. It's cool because I because I saw the moon. You saw the moon, yeah. So I want. Okay, I'm gonna ask you three guys to do something for me. So when it got totally dark, how were you guys going? Like, show me what you were doing. When it got totally doing, dark. Show me. Uh, I was dancing along like, um. <laughs> Show me. It's a very old party. It's. It's a little funny, uh. You don't want to, you don't want to dance for me? You don't want to show me what it was like? Well, that's what no, I want. Go I ahead. Laugh. It's your moment. It's your moment. Hi, Hi. Hi. Come on in here. Oh. Yeah. I'm right oh, you did that. See, he's showing me. And then I did that. And then you did that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, go ahead. What, look, we're getting some dance moves, and then we'll oh, talk to you. Oh, oh there okay. we go. That's and what's, what is your name again? In the dark. Ryan. Okay, did you do what did you think? you want to show us? Uh, no, he didn't do anything. No, I like dinosaurs. He's good. He he's good. All right, guys. Have a safe trip back to San Antonio. Okay, what did you feel like when it got really dark out here? What were you feeling? Uh, it's just fading. I, I just, what happened? It was night or not? My mom said, nah, it was not night. <laughs> so you asked mom, what just happened? Yeah, I just, yeah, I was just, we, I just, what happened? What happened? Why are everyone screaming? Yeah, everybody started screaming, right? And, and where are you from? From right here. In Bernie? Yeah. So you didn't go far today. Have you been excited about this? Yeah, very excited. Awesome. And you came with your mom? Where's mom? There is mom. Hi, mom. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> High five. There you go. Thanks, buddy. Boom. <laughs> All right. <sighs> I, I, I love the perspective of the youngsters. I know. It's so cute. There. It's so cute. It's and adorable. Yeah, so cute. Very cute. The and dance I see, moves. I see, I see a, guy, a guy standing here. You want to come talk to us? Okay. I see you've got the planet on yeah. your T-shirt. What did you think about what you just experienced? So I think it was awesome. I to I was totally ama amazed. So so um. And then that was awesome because I've never actually seen a total one. I've seen an animal one before, but like not a total one. So, so yeah, I, th I thought it was amazing. Yeah. Was yeah. it different than what you expected? Um, yeah, pretty much. It looked like night. It did look like nighttime though. Yeah. Were you expecting it to get that dark? Mm hmm Yeah, I was expecting it to get dark. Was. Even that dark, so you didn't get scared at all, and nothing. I, I wasn't scared because I knew it was gonna get dark, uh, because like I've seen like videos of Total, but I've never seen it in person until um like what ten minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> How do you describe what you felt? If you had to describe that, um, I felt like amazed, but like also a bit shaky. A okay. bit yeah. shaky. It's a power yeah. of nature, right? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Luca. Luca, where are you from? Uh, I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Love it. So are we. Uh, oh, what? Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you got to enjoy it. seems like you've been looking forward to this, right? How would, yep, so somebody, I have been looking forward. If, Luca, so, if somebody wasn't here to experience it, how would you describe it? Um, so if someone wasn't here? Yeah. Oh, uh, like, maybe they'd feel, like, bombed out because, like, they'd feel like, oh, man, I missed it. That was my only shot. Yeah, but yeah. how would you describe what it was to experience it? Um, like, um, very cool. Like, it looks so cool to see totality for, like, the first time ever in my life. Love it. Thanks, Luca. I love your excitement, Luca. Appreciate it. Yes, take care, okay? Bye.
I love I, my favorite part. I'm talking to his dad right now. My favorite part was he was standing over there like, nah, I'm not going over there. Uh, I'm, I'm too cool. I'm not going over. <laughs> the excitement. Oh, look at him. Thank Take you care. guys. Bye, Luca. Yeah, the excitement from the kids. I think that's well, that's and, my big takeaway here today. That, that's the thing is, like he said, it, it's something I've never experienced except for 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Adorable. Yeah. Yes. This has been a great experience, Steve. Thanks for happy birthday again. Thank you. What Jen. a birthday, a memorable birthday, too. Yeah. So uh, thanks for coming out here with me today. I've had a great time. I can't even believe it. I All know. Right. Yeah. And I want to thank Eddie Latigo, our photographer, for the great job that he's done, Diana, yes. for the producing. So it's been a pleasure, Jen. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. It's a, it's, a rarity, it's a rare occasion for an eclipse and for me to actually get to work with Jen Strusky. Yeah. So How it's been a that? pleasure. <laughs> for those who have joined us on the feed, we appreciate you. We hope that you enjoyed this event as much as we did. For all of us at KSAT 12, thanks for joining us.